as new drugs emerge to fight COVID-19, more hospitals are using them. Some are in formal studies. Joining us now to talk about things at the Hospital of Central Connecticut, part of Hartford HealthCare, is Dr. Virginia Beluck, Chief of Infectious Diseases. Doctor, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Pleasure to be here. Uh, tell us about what trends are you seeing in hospitalizations for COVID-19 in your hospital? Well, fortunately, we are starting to see a decline in numbers of COVID-19 patients, although we still admit several patients on a daily basis. And how can people continue to protect themselves against COVID-19, doctor? It's very important to continue to protect yourself by staying home, avoiding contact with people who are sick, wearing a mask if you must go out in public, and staying six feet away from people to the extent possible. Okay, tell us about remdesivir. The Connecticut got its supply Saturday, I understand. How, what, when did your hospital get yours and start using it and how's it going? Well, fortunately, through the efforts of many people at Hartford HealthCare, we were able to get a supply of remdesivir from the national stockpile. As you know, the Food and Drug Administration issued an emergency use authorization for this medication based on the study that demonstrated a decrease in length of illness in patients who were treated with remdesivir compared to placebo. So on Saturday, the medication was delivered to Hartford HealthCare and they rapidly distributed this medication to all of the hospitals in the healthcare system. So we are actively treating patients with remdesivir in our hospital now. And uh, we know your audio is a little low, doctor, so we just, if people would just bear with us because your information is very good. And the effects you're seeing on patients that are taking this remdesivir? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question, please? How is the remdesivir working so far? Well, it's a little early to say. We've only been using it for several days. And I have heard of people whose illness is shorter when they receive this medication. They seem to improve over the next few days. All right, tell us about the study that your facility is involved in. Well, in addition to receiving remdesivir through the emergency use, use authorization, the Hospital of Central Connecticut was invited to participate in the Gilead Pharmaceutical Expanded Access Program. And this requires a lot of reporting back to the company on side effects and outcome of severely ill patients who are receiving remdesivir. Okay, and doctor, finally, I'd, I'd like to ask people on here, tell us about the outpouring of support from the community. I've heard yesterday someone said gift cards have been pouring in for healthcare workers. Kids are having birthday parties to raise money to donate. How does that make you feel and are you guys feeling the love there? I, I got to tell you, I, I've been doing a lot of walking when the weather is nice, and I love seeing the red hearts in my neighborhood. It really makes me feel good and appreciated. A number of restaurants and community groups have, don have donated a lot of food to us, so we're quite well fed during this pandemic, and we really appreciate the support that everybody has provided us. Oh, well, we appreciate you, and I love seeing that smile on your face when you talk about it because it's nice to be on the front lines and also feel that love that everybody is. You guys are really in it, so we appreciate it. Doctor, Doctor, thank you for being with us today. We appreciate your time. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you.